Over the decades, the simple phone call has been used to terrifying effect in the horror genre. And much like the telephone itself has evolved over that time, so too have filmmakers who've utilized this device as a pivotal plot point in their horror movies. As such, it's time to look at some of the most chilling, disturbing, and impactful uses of the humble telephone in horror history. I'm Andrew from What Culture Horror, and here are 10 terrifying horror movie phone calls you'll never forget. Number 10, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Getting a phone call from Freddy Krueger is never a welcoming proposition, but even more so when the fedora adorned murderer is slipping his slimy tongue in on the action. Famously, 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street gave us the visual of Freddy's tongue coming directly through a phone line to torment poor Nancy Thompson. While the franchise did eventually veer too much towards cheese and humour, this creepy call from Freddy brought genuine dread and shock to that first film. Of course, this was a trick later repeated in 1994's Wes Craven's New Nightmare, where the movie's villainous entity takes on the visual of Kruger and likewise causes chaos via telephone. Just this time, due to the meta nature of that film, it's Nancy actress Heather Langkamp playing herself who's being tormented. Number 9. The Mothman Prophecies Often overlooked, Mark Pelton's 2002 Based on True Events Richard Gere Starrer explores the Mothman legend as Gears John Klein sets out to find whether this mysterious figure is indeed real. At one point, with Klein in a hotel room doing research, he receives phone calls throughout the night. And no, not those prank ones that say your pizza's down at the lobby. Instead, these chilling calls reveal details only John and his deceased wife could ever possibly know. On top of the content of these calls, adding more to the horror is the tone and eerie sounds of the conversation, sending a proper chill down the spine. Is the Mothman Prophecies an all-time classic? Likely not, but those sinister phone calls, yep, yeah, they will stay with you long after that film is done. Number 8. Teeth in addition to introducing horror fans to the term vagina dentata, 2007's Teeth also features a fantastic, justice-serving phone call. The central character in Teeth is Dawn, a mild-mannered, good Christian girl who discovers she has actual teeth in her, um, nether regions. While that has lazily been labelled a shock gimmick at times, the real story of Teeth is actually one of consent and abuse. When Ryan at one point acts as a shoulder to cry on for Jess, this eventually leads to the pair having teeth-free sex. But when the two have sex the following morning, that's interrupted by a phone call from one of Ryan's friends. A phone call Ryan decides to take mid-act. With this douchebag revealing to his pal that he only slept with Jess as part of a bet, are Ryan and Jess still being, um, connected? Jess's vagina detata kicks into gear and bites off Ryan's in a lovely act of karma. Number 7. Scream The only that phone call of Scream set the tone perfectly for what became an iconic horror movie and one of the most popular franchises in horror history. That opening scene of Wes Craven's beloved 1996 picture saw Drew Barrymore's poor Casey Becker gutted like a fish after answering an initially playful call from Ghostface. Killing off Drew Barrymore was a huge shock at the time, with her being front and centre as the star of the movie in Scream's marketing. The very first thing we see in Scream though, what started as a piece of mild flirtation during a wrong number call, ends up seeing the what's your favourite scary movie line thrown out for the very first time. For poor Casey, her lack of knowledge of the original Friday the 13th lets her down, with that being one of the most tense, chilling phone calls in horror history. Number 6. Ring Released back in 1998 and based on Koji Suzuki's 1991 novel of the same name, Ring is a masterclass of horror storytelling. The MacGuffin of the movie may be a cursed videotape, but Ring also has a place for a classic eerie telephone call in amongst its scares. For the hapless victims of Ring, its countless sequels, the remakes, and even the Juon crossover, they all receive nefarious calls moments after watching the tape in question, with this haunting call informing them they have just seven days left to live. True to its word, the spirit of Sadako, or Samara, then claims their next victim one week later, making this phone call one you want to avoid at all costs. Number 5. Halloween Having already impressed in Brian De Palma's Carrie, 1978's Halloween fully put PJ Souls on the radar of horror fans, and key to that was how Souls' character of Linda was killed off in John Carpenter's iconic slasher. Despite barely being in half of the movie, PJ Souls is the Halloween alumnus who's remained the most attached to the franchise over the decades, being a regular talking head on any documentaries, specials, or panel chats. Of course, Linda's death scene sees her choked to death with a telephone cord by Michael Myers, all while her BFF Laurie Strode listens on the other end of the phone to Linda's final gargle breaths. 
Typically, Laurie thinks Linda is just messing around, but reality later kicks in when Laurie finds her pal's dead body on the night he finally came home. Number 4. When a Stranger Calls It may not have been the first movie to use a creepy phone call, but 1979's When a Stranger Calls is the film likely most synonymous with this concept. Here we find Carol Kane's Jill Johnson as a babysitter played by Sinister Calls, with the big reveal of the olden act being that these calls are coming from within the house where Jill is babysitting, and it's soon revealed the children she's looking after, yep, they've been killed by the murderous Kurt Duncan. From there, the film jumps forward seven years as Jill once again becomes tormented by Duncan and his telephony terrace. For the 2006 When a Stranger Calls redo, that actually stretches out the first act phone calls and reveal over the entire movie, and it somehow works fairly well. Up until that 1979 movie though, the trusty telephone was largely viewed as an instrument of safety until those tables were turned and it became a conduit of evil intentions. Number 3. The Silence of the Lambs The thinking man's killer, Hannibal Lecter, is a multifaceted murderer operating on a supreme level of intellect and whose smarts make him a truly disturbing presence. Where the phone call comes into play in The Silence of the Lambs, that's in the film's closing moments. There, Jodie Foster's Clarice Starling receives an anonymous call from Hannibal, who, in his typically charming, eerily warm way, complete with an underbelly of devious intentions, of course, informs Clarice that he's having an old friend for dinner. Far from the outrageous threats or supernatural antics seen elsewhere in this video, it's the calm and composed delivery of Hannibal that makes this one of the most jarring calls in movie history, period. Number 2. Black Christmas not only is 1974's Black Christmas often viewed as the start of the slasher subgenre, but it's also famous for featuring one of the most notable uses of a telephone in horror history. When the residents of a sorority house begin to receive a variety of threatening calls, these young, carefree swords pay little attention to the calls and just play them down as somebody goofing around. That is, until the body count starts to pile up. With that, Black Christmas gave audiences one of the first instances of the eventually overplayed The Call It's Coming From Inside the House trope that would become a staple of horror for years to come, such as in the aforementioned When a Stranger Calls. Number 1. One Missed Call Does it get any more terrifying than receiving a screaming voicemail from a future version of yourself implying that you will die in just two short days? No, that's a tough one to top, alright? Well, that's the key plot point of Takeshi Miike's 2003 One Missed Call. And this isn't just a one-off call to one person, for one missed call features this horrifying happening taking place all across Japan, all while the authorities rule these deaths as coincidental suicides, before even the biggest skeptics have to admit that, yeah, there's something more sinister at play here. The initial selling point of one missed call is a great one, and a truly unique way of utilising the humble telephone. Although this was somewhat overdone by the time we got one missed call 2, the 10 episode one missed call TV series, 2006's one missed call final, and the pretty darn rough 2008 English language remake. But that first movie, yep, it still holds up extremely well to this very day. 